when you make peanut butter and jelly, you put the peanut butter on, you use a knife for the peanut butter. Because the knife spreads it really easily. But, now what about the jelly? So, the problem is, that jelly, like, you might say, well, you use a knife on that too. But, what happens is all the jelly falls off of the knife when you go to scoop it out of the jar. And so that just doesn't work. So, instead, you say, oh, well, you use a spoon. The spoon scooped it out of the jelly, and then, like, you spread it with the bottom of the spoon or whatever. But no, that doesn't work, because that smooshes it all into the bread. So, instead, what you do is, well, what's halfway between a knife and a spoon? A spatula. But, there are no silverware spatulas, so, instead, you use a fork. Now, let, let, I'll just kind of, let's see. Uh, so, we, like, open up the jar. Alright, so the jar is open. Now, you, like, take it out of the, the jar with the fork, like so. And now, you put it on the bread. Alright. Was it enough so we can get another thing out? And then, when you spread it, now, you can spread it. And, like, since it's a fork, it has more, like, surface area. So you were able to get more out at once. And so it's just more efficient for, uh, see, look at that. It's just more efficient for spreading and putting the jelly onto the bread. It only took me, like, two seconds you saw that. No, not even, I didn't even cut the video. So, then we just put it on the other piece of bread, because I'm making two sandwiches. And, like, it just works. And then, you're done. See that? Yeah. So yeah, that's like how you properly put jelly onto a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Boom. What do you think, Pikachu?